Hi, I'm Abdul, developer advocate at Octero. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Octero's environment to work on applications deployed on Octero. And in the last video, I demonstrated how to deploy applications from GitHub directly to Octero. And so, I have already deployed an application which I'll be using in this video. And in the application here, we have the manifest. We have two services that is the guestbook service and the ready service. The ready serves as the database for us in this scenario. And we have your manifest. We could just browse through and see the deployment, and we could browse through Redis and see it's the service this will set. Right. And before we dive on, what is Octero's dev environment? At Octero, the basic thing or you know our primary goal is to make development easier for developers. That is, we are building tools to enhance your productivity as a developer. So having to make changes, the traditional way of working most times is test locally, then you know push to your um, maybe production or yeah or you make a pull request. You know you let the build service build this first, then you can have a preview environment, which is much more stress. How about you develop your application in a real world scenario? That is, whatever changes you make, and you can see on the web is exactly the same way you find this in production. And that's what we provide at Octero. We make you build your, your applications in a what you see is what you get environment by providing you secure HTTP endpoints and all the tools you need while developing. That is, when using Octero's environment, you do not have to install any additional tools. Everything comes installed. And now, the first step, of course, is to deploy application. Then clone the same application locally because you're going to work on it, right? And I have done that already. And you can see the application here. I have the Octero pipeline file, which is responsible for, you know, deployment when I use it, when I like commit changes or I push it, or I use the Octo dashboard to deploy my application. And now we have the main application and what do we have here? This is a guestbook application with some path. Okay. So the first step is to have Octo CLI installed. I currently have the Octo CLI installed, but you could install your so CLI, if you don't have, we have provided um, information on how to install your CLI in docs. You check the description in the video. And after installation, you log in, you do Octo login, so you can have access and communicate directly with the Octo cluster. And when it shows you this page, it means you're now logged in. That is, you could go on and carry operations, you can interact. And the next step is to run Octo namespace. Hello, namespace. Yep. When you run Octo namespace, what it does is, it downloads your Kubernetes credentials and configuration files that will enable smooth interactions. As it is now, you don't have to use any other tool to operate Octo handles everything for you. Now, Octo dev environments are simple, isolated environments for you. When you are in development mode, it is different from when you are in production. That is, you have to start application yourself. Of course, you will get to see this in a few minutes, but I just have to give you a little theory on how it works. Now, if you go back to your dashboard here, and notice the state of your application here. Currently, it is running. That is in deployment. That is a production. At this stage, your application is in production. How about we check what we deployed? And we can see here, we have guest book and with no entry. And you have a little more information here. If you reload program changes, and I can say, hello. Hello from production. And when you save, it works. You can reload application sticks. Right. Okay, now. You are not satisfied with guestbook. You want to change it to um of those guestbook. You want to change it, submit to add entry. You want to make some changes without having to make changes directly to um the production server. You don't want to have a struggle to push your pull request before it gets your build service so you can have a preview where it looks. Or you're not sure how it's going to look in production, even if you develop locally. How do you solve this? Like I said, at Octeto, that's what we are here for to make life easy for you. Now when you want to use a closed environment, you need a manifest. And the first step is doing Octo init to create a manifest for you. Yeah. When you run Octo init, it looks through your deployment to see which one you want to develop. And we have the guestbook deployment here. Even our dashboard, you can see guestbook deployment. And of course, we want to develop that. So we select it. And it analyzes our deployment. What does it do? It checks what kind of image I use, what kind of application I use in, I use in Golang, I use in Python, I use in PHP, Node, anything. And it's analyzes and mix up so when you analyze the application it decides what and what tools come pre-installed 
and the next step is okay before we move then let's have a scan of what our manifest file looks like we have the name of our deployment the image base image is golang you have the command bash that is whatever command you run normally in terminal it's applicable in octo's dev environment terminal you have the volumes and you have the ports this is the debugging ports and these are the application ports then you have the synchronization section like I said, Octo Dev Environment synchronizes your application changes directly. As when you save changes here, it's automatically deployed for you. You don't have to push code or do anything. It automatically synchronizes. So this tells us what and what to synchronize. Now synchronize changes from this directory into the volume user source app. Because you check your Docker file, that is the main directory, user source app. Right. Now the next step is to do update up. When you run Octo up, you activate your deployment, sorry, your development container. And the size of application changes here. You can see it's progressing into the development state and the volume is created. This volume is, like I said earlier, is your isolated dev environment containing your code. And with, that is where your application is going to be deployed in as much as your development. All changes are made in this volume alone. You can see this is dev deployment and this is deployment. So this is a dev volume and this is a deployment. Now I wait for this to progress. It's supposed the image. We could go over our application structure and see what we have is manifest. Okay, we have public. So we, oh, our public holds the front end. That is, the UI is served from this public file here. And so we wanted to change a couple of things. And so let's just take note of what we want to change. We want to change, submit, and check this and this. Okay. While we wait for it to pull the images, so we just hold on for a minute. Likewise, you could monitor the changes from here directly from your log. Okay, now it is in development. When application starts to change here, it's in development. That is now your normal deployment. Now, when I go back to my guestbook application and reload, it says, oh, your development container is ready. Start your service here. What does that mean? When you're in development mode, Octeto gives you full permission over your application. That is, Octeto does not automatically start your application. You're in control. You are developing your application now. So what do you want to do? Do you want to start your application? It is left to you. And for your application to be deployed now, you have to run it on port 8080. Now we go back to our terminal here. And this is the Octero's terminal. You can see the difference here. I say, welcome to your development container. Of course, welcome. And so the next thing we do is go run. Mean do go. When you run this, it installs all the dependence for the application. Like I said earlier, Go came installed in our application. It was in the Python app. Python will come installed with every other tool necessary. That is the benefits. That's one of the benefits we give you. So the application starts here. And when I reload, my application works. Now we need to make some changes. And let's, let's be sure that it works properly, shall we? So we can say hello from development. Okay, now we have two entries. One from development, one from production. Okay, so these are entries. Why, why, why should it be submit? We want to change to add entries. We want to make this Octavio's guest book. Okay, right here. And so you find this and say Octavio's guest book. And instead of waiting for database connection because it looks a bit awry. Nobody, we, we are assuming that maybe people have idea what service is. So we say, okay, waiting for saved entries. Let's start with these changes. Then you save. Then you have to reload the application. Sorry, you have to restart. So when you restart the application and you reload here, you can see the difference. Octavio's guestbook. When you reload again, you can see it doesn't change. Okay, good. Now we want this to be add an entry. Here. Once again, you reload your application. Add an entry. Changes are really affected. And you add an entry. And now your application works. Now these are saved all the stress of having to push to the CI server to pass some tests before we can ascertain how it looks online. Because you are most probably running this locally and so you'll be in doubt. Okay, how would this look like on you know a normal um web setting that is in production? How? But Octavio here now models that this whatever changes you made here reflect directly in production. Like these changes will not change 
the Octavius Games book is where it's going to look like the same look we have here in development, it's the same look we are going to have in production. Now we move on to the next stage. <clears throat> and now, okay, we're done. We need to exit our container and deactivate the Octavius down. When you run Octavius down, your development container is out of use and this changes back to normal deployment. Now you've completed your deployments and you want to make changes, you want to push changes, okay, you are fine and you are sure your application works. What do you want to do? You want to push your changes. We have Octavio push command. What Octavio push does is instead of having to manually build your image to register it and have like make pull requests or anything, you can just Octavio push command. It automatically synchronizes changes made in the application, builds a new image like you can see here. And when you finish building a new image, it pushes and redeploys your services. Okay, so we wait for this and you can also monitor the stages here again once again. So this out of views and you can see everything is running smooth. It's progressing that the application is being redeployed. And our source code has been pushed without having to go through CI server and having to wait. And so let's verify that this works properly. So we go back here and reload. Application works properly. Add an entry of those guest book. So for a recap, we learned three commands how to use Dev environment. We start with Octo initialize, which you know builds a manifest for us and the manifest file, like we have here. We have the name of the deployments, we have synchronization folders, we have the volumes, and we have the ports. We just have the command, like you see, like you saw in the video, the bash command works perfectly. You have Octo up command, which creates a development environment, and the Octo down environment down command. If you do not run Octo down, your development container remains active. Whatever changes you make will be reflected only on development. But when you do Octo push, it means you have updated your deployments with the changes you've made from your dev environment session. And that's how it works. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we would appreciate if you like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. Do try Octo today, it is free. Thank you very much.